For most of the folks in the bottom of Idaho Pool, it was an unusual experience. It was a little strange climbing into here, but no, I would have never pictured myself here in a million years. This is really weird. It's never happened before. It's like it's a lot bigger than it looks like with water in it. D didn't expect that. I, I hoped I didn't in the bottom of the pool. That's usually pretty dangerous. About 100 volunteers showed up to scrape out the grime in the pool before opening day. To get Idaho Pool ready, the volunteers also painted the interior of the pool facility, pulled weeds, and planted flowers. Swimmers and their families from all over the community turned out for this event today. The city's original goal was to get about $10,000 worth of free labor. But because there are so many volunteers here, the city will far surpass that goal. To meet a shortfall in the city's budget, park staff recommended closing the pools this summer. City Council chose to keep the pools open after numerous residents objected and testified that they would do what they could to help out. Sierra Nevada Community Aquatics organized a volunteer event with the help of city staff. The group's leader, Michael Ginsburg, sent out emails to all the different swim groups in Reno. Many of their members showed up to clean up. My coach emailed me and said that we needed to come work on the pool, <laughs> so I came out with my dad. And it's only the only long course pool in Reno, and we need to get our long course training in, so it's like our only pool. And it's also outdoor, which is cool because you get fresh air. We train year-round, and uh, I, uh, my wife and I train uh, mostly at uh, St. Mary's during the winter, but we depend on Idlewild in the summer, so uh, we're trying to get it ready. My daughter swims for that club, and. I'm glad to be able to come out and give a little elbow grease. It was a dirty job, but now the pool will be open this summer for everyone to enjoy.